Fluorine is another integral part that we use in ESD control. Some people use fluorine, some don't. But in order to use fluorine, you have to qualify it first, and then there's a compliance verification plan. So first, we're going to go through the, the qualification measurements. Again, this should be done in a humidity-controlled environment at 12% and 23 degrees C. We're going to use the 2.27 kilogram probes with the 63 millimeter diameter of conductive rubber. And before we make our first measurement, we want to make sure that we can actually test greater than what we're going to do. So I put this on insulated surface connected to a groundable point. And we can see we're well over our 10 to the 9th measurement that is uh, the requirement for 2020. So the first measurements we're going to make are point to groundable point. I've just taken a alligator clip and clipped it to the conductive underside to act as our groundable point. And we take measurements. Measurement one. Measurement two. Measurement three. Measurement four. Measurement five. And measurement six. So all those measurements are in the 10 to the 4th region, well within the spec of 2020. The next set of measurements we want to make is point to point. So we fix point A and repeat the same six measurements. And we can see the measurements are pretty consistent on this floor. And all these measurements indicate that from a strictly floor material point of view, this floor would be acceptable for 2020. Of course, we still have to do other measurements if we're going to use it for personal grounding. There's a walking test we need to do, and resistance tests, but the floor itself meets the requirements. So for compliance verification measurements, instead of making point-to-point -point or point-to-groundable point measurements, we make a point-to-ground measurement. Our grounding system is the building ground or the third wire ground. We're connected there. I have connected the floor to ground. and We're going to simply use one probe now with the other end connected to a separate ground system, a separate ground point. And with a floor work surface, we only did one point. With a floor, Obviously, a floor is much larger than a work surface, so you have to pick several points to make sure the floor is consistent. In this case, this floor is made up of four squares, so we'll just test all four squares real quick. Same, re same requirements, less than 10 to the ninth. And you can see these are all resistance to ground measurements. and they're all with inspect. Remember, compliance verification is done with ambient conditions. There are no environmental re requirements for com compliance verification, but for qualification, they have to be in a controlled environment.